This sandy, featureless seafloor seems to be a difficult place to look for food. However, some fish seem to have found a solution to this problem. Scattered about the sandy area are curious circular shaped pits, about the size of a basketball. A wide variety of fish, such as this sheephead, take advantage. So how do these pits help fish find food over the sand? Well, there's one way to find out, by placing this camera on the bottom. A female sheephead. She's inspecting the pit for any invertebrates. And indeed, she's doing some digging. She did have powerful jaws and large caniform teeth, which allowed them to pry hard-shelled prey off of rocks. In their throat, she had possessed fused pharyngeal teeth, which they used to crush mollusks and crabs and other hard-shelled prey. Here comes a rock rass, certainly not the maker of this pit, but it might be worthwhile to look for some scraps that might be left over. How about this guy? He is an ocean white fish. Whitefish feed mostly in sandy areas near rocky reefs, and their mouths are certainly well designed for this purpose. All this digging is definitely attracting attention from other fish. Prey too small for the white fish to notice. It's just right for this rock bass. Gill rakers act like a sieve, holding back coarse particles and food. Fine sand can then be ejected safely this rock grass seems to know that small bits of food pass by the debris. The too large capacity of gill rakers is separated from the food and then spat out. Notice how the fish shoots its jaw forward as it bites into the sand. This is possible due to its hyostylic jaw, which most bony fish possess. This means that the upper and lower jaws are free from the skull, which allows for a wide range of movement. Of course, there's not quite enough room for everyone. It's a lot easier to take turns, picking up what the previous guy missed. These three species certainly prefer different size and type of prey items. So no two are competing directly. Whitefish seem to dominate these pits, but they are not territorial. Highly mobile, Whitefish may move long distances in search of food. At night, they return to the same crevice in the reef to sleep. It's a 
find the most likely diggers of these pits, we'll have to go to deeper water. Bat rays. During the day, many can be found resting in sandy areas of the coop. Over a sandy bottom, there are a few places to hide, so bat rays must always be on the alert for predators. Propping themselves up off the sand allows for quick acceleration and takeoff. Resting in groups also provides safety in numbers. The rays in this cove are quite used to humans, so if you approach slowly, they seem to only view you as a minor inconvenience. Hiding in plain sight is quite a trick, but burrowing can be used for other things besides feeding. The surround stingray is quite confident in his disguise. Here, safely hidden, the ray can dig for prey, such as polychaetal. Spiracles, located on top of its head, allow it to breathe without ingesting sand. If you think you've been spotted, it's important to make a quick getaway. 